Hey guys, welcome back to Do This Backyard Builds. I hope everyone is doing fine. So today, I'll be showing you guys how I clean the engine bay on my G-Bodies. So today I'll be cleaning the engine bay on my El Camino SS, getting it all ready for the whole 383 stroker. So um, guys, stay tuned. Alright guys, so this is how the engine bay is looking. As you see, she is real dirty. I want to remove all this gunk that you see here. Clean, smooth out the whole firewall really nice and then paint it. So um, I want to organize all the wires nice. You know, make everything look really nice and clean on the engine bay. Before dropping the engine, I like to make sure the firewall is nice and painted everything on the engine bay engine cross member everything nice and painted before dropping the new motor in i'm gonna also remove the wheel wells you see them faded out i'm gonna take off the um, wheel wells they use a different paint i'll be showing you guys as we go on um, get those wheel wells nice and painted yeah ac box as well ac box also takes a different paint i'll show you guys as we go on but yeah, guys, it's gonna be completely different. <laughs> Let's get to work, guys. All right, YouTube. So um, I made a quick stop to auto parts. I need to buy the paint. I'm gonna show you guys what paint I use, you know, for my wheel wells, my AC box, my chassis and firewall. So um, yep, let's get down and get this paint. I really hope they have the paint here. Check it out. Yeah, I have one can. So this is what I use for the chassis and firewall. And the satin black finish. It's not too shiny and it's not dull. It's right in the middle. So let me see if they have what I use for the AC box and wheel wells. Nope, they don't have. But we have AutoZone next door, so I'll check on AutoZone to see if they have an AutoZone. But yeah, guys, this is what I use for the firewall and the complete chassis. It already comes with primer, as you see. No primer needed, rust and corrosion resistance. So it's a satin black finish, so it's not too shiny. And um, it's not dull, so it's right in the middle for a nice, nice clean look. So let's pay for this, guys. And then we'll go next door to AutoZone and um, see if they have the other paint there. All right, guys, we made it to Water Zone that was just next door. So hopefully they have the paint here for the AC box and wheel wells. It's a special paint, guys, because um, this paint is not gonna peel out or anything. Head to another auto parts stores, guys. See they have. All right, we just made it to the other auto zone. This is crazy. The paint is not even here either. Guys, we're gonna try one more auto parts. If it's not in that auto part, I'm not trying no more. All right, guys, this is the last auto parts I'm trying, man. If they don't have the paint here, I'm going home and I'm gonna order the paint. Hold on. Nope, they don't have 
nothing here, guys. Yeah, guys, I'm going home. I'm gonna order the, I'm gonna order it online. All right, guys, we're going home, man. I went to literally like five different auto parts and auto zone. None of them had the paint I was looking for. When I get home, I'll show you, I have an empty can there. I'll show you guys the one I'm looking for. I'm gonna order it online and wait for it to come. But um, it's definitely, it's a, it's a VHT epoxy paint, which is, that's what you wanna use on those plastic parts like the wheel wells and the AC box. Um, it's not gonna peel anything like that. But yeah, guys, bring the camera down and put it back up when I'm home. All right, guys, we are ready to start. But before starting, I wanna show you guys all the tools that I use to clean the engine bay. So I got my grinder. Got a wire brush attached to the grinder. Remember guys, safety first. Got my face shield, got my goggles. Hand grip wire brush just to get in between the areas I can't put the grinder through. Scrapers, yep. That's pretty much it guys. This is everything I use to make sure I clean this firewall. Check how that firewall came out. Nice and smooth. We'll clean up the chassis, clean up everything around it. And it's ready for paint, guys.
All right, guys, everything is washed up. I'm gonna hit it with a blower right now. Wait until it fully dries up. And I'm gonna start painting, guys. Right, guys everything is nicely painted i painted the firewall the wheel wells the inner fenders the chassis the ac box everything has been nicely painted um you as you guys see this is a satin black finish that's what i was explaining to you guys earlier it's not so shiny it's not dull it's right in the middle so it has a little bit of shine to it just for a nice clean look um what i use for the wheel wells and the ac box I had a good buddy that reached out to me and told me that this one works just the same as the other one. Like the one that I was trying to get. Um, and you guys saw I went to like multiple auto parts in AutoZone and I couldn't find it. So um, hopefully the paint doesn't peel off or anything on the plastics. But yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think. How did it come out? So what I'm gonna, what I'm going to do now is just go through the wiring. You know, cut out all the unnecessary wires just to el eliminate some of the wiring. Less wires, the better. So, um, yeah, guys, hopefully we could get this engine put on sometime this week. Definitely, I'll keep you guys updated. But I appreciate all you guys. Appreciate the love and support. Guys, please make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and let me know what you guys think. Hopefully, this video is helpful, you know, for any of you guys that are trying to do this, um, try to clean the engine bay yourself. Hopefully this video um, is helpful, but um, thank you guys so much. Appreciate the love. Please comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much.